It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Siren Craft Brew and it's a bottle of their Primal Cut. It's a smoked porter with coffee and black currant. Didn't that sound fantastic? There's a look at the bottle cap. The beer is available from imperialbeerclub.com. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. imperialbeerclub.com fantastic company between 42 and 45 pound a month 10 beers 10 imperial strength beers coming your way and you can check the link out in the, in the description box for their website so what are we getting I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, when I poured the beer out, 8.8% ABV, it looked very thin. Um, yeah, it, didn't, it hasn't got that big, bold body that, that you could come to expect from a porter. Usually a stout, but I've, I've had many a porter that have had big, medium mouthfeels. This one, look, you can just see... The head's dissipated very quickly. Nice carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Let's get the aroma. Yes, quite smoky. It's like a beefy smoky aroma. Beef oxo smoked. A little bit of black currants, and then you've got your coffee, chocolate, caramel flavours there. Should we dive in? Cheers. And I'll take some of that back. It's got a lot more mouthfeel than I thought possible. It is remarkably quite rich, dense and creamy. But then again, that smokiness is in balance. Coffee, chocolate, caramel flavours coming from the malt, the roasted malt in the beer. That smoky note, that smokiness in the beer takes it a little bit that way in terms of stretching your palate to the extreme and then the black currant takes it over that way so so your palate and your flavour profile and your brain is having to think about all of these different flavours. Blackcurrant, smokiness, maybe a little bit of kind of a smoky paprika maybe. Only a touch of the paprika, but a lot more of the smoke. Chocolate, kind of sweet, caramel, bitter chocolate, bitter coffee. There's some vanilla. Vanilla and a touch of coconut. Very vinous, of course, from the black currant. You're having some prune, fig, dates. Red grape flavours coming through, a vinous quality. It's nicely carbonated as well. The beer gets pushed around the inside of the mouth. It's an interesting beer. It really is an interesting beer. Let me show you what I meant earlier on by that initial pour. See, it really doesn't want to create, and there goes the head. Uh, it really doesn't want to create much of a head, and then it's kind of created one. There we go. Maybe the beer is bottle conditioned. But they, no, it is actually dissipating very quickly, so that's not going to hang around too, too long. 
What do I think of this beer then? A smoked porter with coffee and black currants. Yes, the coffee's there, it's like an espresso type coffee. Uh, you get a lot more of the, the roasted malt here, the, the, the chocolate and coffee caramel, I feel. And then a touch of black currants on the back end. Um, high concept beer, inspired by our head brewer's tasting of some black currant puree we sampled. Eight point eight percent ABV, primal cut. I'm going to give it a rating. It's a tough one. This, it is a tough one. I like it. It's growing on me. It really is growing on me. I was just about to say that it's not the greatest beer that Siren Craft Brew have produced but then I, then I had one more taste of the beer one more taste and really tough it changes with every mouthful it really does change with every mouthful you're thinking to yourself one mouthful I, yeah I really like it the next mouthful I'm not so sure okay I'm gonna take it down to would I buy it again if I was in a bar with 30 beers, there was a range of porters and stouts and IPAs, would I buy this beer again? Would I buy a half of this beer? Yeah, I would, I would. And that's the fundamental answer really, isn't it? That you wanna hear, would I buy it again or would you buy it again? Or would you buy it to begin with? And, and I think you should. I think it's worth trying, I definitely do. So, after being tugged from one side to the other, I'm going to give it a rating, I'm, and I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it an, oh, I'm going to give it a seven out of ten. It's a seven out of ten from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.